What you have inside your head will decide all of your success and happiness in life. But where do we get our life skills from? And I think we get them from four places and none of them are great. First, there's school, where we were taught very little about life certainly the school I went to. There was nothing about money or time or relationships really, just preparing us for the world of work, the corporate treadmill. That's what schools were originally designed for. Secondly, there's copying our friends or our parents or our bosses at work, but you'll never get ahead of the pack by copying the pack. And anyway, how do you decide which parts to copy? Third, there's training courses, which are usually arranged and paid for by your work. And they only teach you the things that they want you to know. How to be a better employee, how to make the company more profits. At best, they teach you one part of the bigger picture at a time. And then there's books. All of the answers are in books, but which books to read? And is there enough time to read them all? So most of us are left making it up as we go along, guessing what will make us successful in life and guessing about the best way to be happy. And that's what I did for too many years, thinking that being a manager would make me happy, thinking that if I worked hard, I would get rewarded and trying to find ways to save up some money. Now, some of my friends are working really hard on jobs that they don't enjoy in order to have a well-off retirement, which doesn't seem a very good plan to me. Others have made a whole lot of money, but they're still not happy because the price they've paid to earn that money has cancelled out the chance to enjoy their life during the process. While others have opted out of the race and they've chosen happiness, but at the cost of having no money, or at least not enough to do the things that they want to do. But there are a few people out there who've got life sussed because they know how the game works. They're not guessing or hoping. They've worked out how to be successful, both in their work and in their personal lives, without sacrificing happiness. In fact, they enjoy their work as well as their time outside it. And that's what I've been studying and teaching for years, exactly how you can live your maximum life, how you can be happier and also more successful. And there are certain skills that you need in order to live your maximum life. And once you've got those skills, you'll be ahead of everyone else and it'll be easy to build up your success and your happiness. My maximum life approach takes out the guesswork and I've spent years putting together what I like to call my life skills collection, which is the only foundation anyone needs to create their best life. And the sooner we start working on this together, the better. So my name's Chris and if you already know me, you'll know that I'm obsessed with making every idea practical, probably because I started out life as an engineer. So everything's got to pass the can I use it right away to make a difference test. And if you've done any of my courses over the years, I hope you'll agree that they're always both fun and 100% practical. I've trained over 100,000 people face to face over the last 25 years, and I'm one of the best selling authors on LinkedIn Learning and Udemy. In fact, my project management course and my happiness course are the best selling courses on those subjects in the world. I've trained about 8 million people in total on lynda.com, LinkedIn and udemy.com. So that's about 20,000 people a day who are viewing my courses. And I get thank you messages every day from people who've used my ideas to make life changing improvements to their lives. And I've noticed that just in the last few years, traditional careers and traditional training are disappearing fast. We want a feeling of personal progress. We want to maybe run our own businesses, to have a feeling of freedom. We don't want to have our lives controlled by our boss or the random fluctuations of the labour market. We don't want to have to worry about money and we don't want money to control our life decisions. I've done jobs where I was in constant fear of getting fired. And I've done jobs where I worked incredibly hard for no thanks. 
and could still only just make ends meet. And then you start to believe that it's okay. It's how life is. We're lucky to have a job, really. And doing what you're told and working at least five days a week is how it's meant to be. It's normal. But your life can be different to that. It can be however you want it to be. You can design it if you have the knowledge. And that's where my life skills collection comes in. I've collected everything you need to know in order to achieve as much as you want in life, both at work and outside work. Because there's more to life than work, especially work that doesn't excite you or make you proud. And I've also been researching happiness. How can you maximise your happiness, both at home and even at work? So my life skills collection will help you to get to a point where you can see increased achievement in your life, both at work and at home, and where you can feel increased happiness, both at home and at work. So you found your life purpose and you're doing it. Imagine watching everyone else working nine to five, or probably more like eight to six, or on shifts, while you've built up your own business, or you work for a company that you love, doing work that you know is really worthwhile. Working with people you enjoy seeing. Maybe you have a really nice boss, or maybe you have no boss because you work for yourself. Imagine that money is no longer controlling you. You live in a house that you're happy with, you don't want to move, you're in a great part of the country. You have plenty of time to do the things that make you happy and to spend with the people who bring you joy. You're in control of your life at last and nobody else is controlling you. What would you do with that time, that freedom? That's where I want you to be. You might already be pretty happy, but not achieving as much as you could be you know you've got extra potential within you. Or you might be working hard and doing well, but you'd like to be 10% or 20% happier. Maybe you're happy at home, but not at work. Anyway, I could go on for hours, but I mustn't. So in the next video, I'll explain more about what's in my life skills collection. And I'll show you a couple of quick ideas you can implement right away to get started on living your maximum life. So make sure you stay on the lookout so you don't miss the next video. And then on the 1st of June, I'm going to launch my life skills collection and I'm going to take a handful of new students and teach them exactly how to live their maximum lives. Numbers have to be limited to make sure everyone who joins gets the coaching that they need to achieve their goals. And places will be allocated on a first come, first served basis. So if that's something you're interested in, you seriously want to change some things in your life, then make sure you click on the link under this video and put your name on the early bird waiting list. Everyone on the early bird waiting list will get access to the registration link the night before the program launches to the public. So you'll have the option to grab the course before it goes public and everybody else takes it. And then I'll see you in the next video when we'll make a start on implementing some of the ideas in my life skills collection.